So the other day I covered about the Minister for Justice, Helen McEntee, receiving €4,200, supposedly, from the owner of Tate Park. But we know, supposedly, it's not even the word, we know what happened. Uh, now, we kind of have an idea. Again, she won't say it. She denied she ever got the money. And she denied that she got any more than that. And she didn't, well, she first of all denied that she never got anything. Second of all, and then the next time she came out, she said, God, she got 4,200. Didn't explain why she got it because nobody gives you 4,200 just out, out of the kindness of her heart, let's be fair. <coughs> Not many people would do that. Um, But yeah, nobody explained that. But now we know the answer. So during the lockdown, things then, you know, all businesses had to close, government restrictions, things of the COVID restrictions. So Tater Park. So the person who owned Tater Park wrote to the minister, obviously Tater Park's in County Mead, and obviously she's a TD for Mead. Um, and they wrote, and she, obviously he asked though, could he write to the Department of Teacher, could ask, can they open, more or less. So more or less, it, it, as far as I can see it, and anybody, I know the media is not basically saying it, but as far as I can tell, the money was given to her, was basically so, you know, keep the guards away, you know, I want to open up, here's a bit of hush money, you know, more or less. Um, and you know it's very suspicious because she can't say because you know nobody gives you two four hundred no two thousand what was it it was it one two, okay, okay, I, remember, I said the right number there four thousand two hundred yes yeah, sorry uh, and God knows how much more and she said it could it's one uh, the bottom here it says um one of the states got five thousand so you know why did she get all that money what's it for like let's be honest is it hush money because again she is the justice minister after all I'm sure she can tell on God that she the Connor to pretend not to see it, in other words, to look the other way and to pretend that nothing there. Because they looked the other way when the domestic violence calls during the lockdown said that they didn't bother responding, they just ignored them. Um, so they can look the other way, but they didn't look the other way when they had to go into churches, the barges in the churches, when people were saying their prayers, they went into the churches and demanded them to get out. Um, and then they were nowhere to be found when there was crime going on in the country. Um, perfect example here, probably the same thing, I say the girls weren't even around Tater Park for about a month. Uh, as it says here, it didn't succeed, as far as I can tell. But again, the Irish Independent, I have to give them the credit where credit's due. I knew there was something behind it. So, you know, in fairness, they did some journalism. For the first time ever, they did a bit of journalism. Um, which is what they should be doing, like, let's be fair. So, in fairness, credit where credit's due. Um, so, yeah, we drew the article here, but basically... You, 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 what, she basically wouldn't tell her what the money was for. So basically, we probably we have it here now, more or less. This is more or less what it is for. So it's either hush money to keep on Gallagher Street O'Connor away from coming in and knocking, putting them, closing them down. Well, the second thing is hush money so she they could open up. Because again, she is a minister after all. She's a high up position. And the government minister for justice is a high up position. It's not only TD or anything that. You have, you have good power. You have power over on Gallagher Street O'Connor. You have a power over the police. Um, you can decide what goes and what is enforced and what's not enforced. Um, you have the power. Again, you have power to enforce it. That's what you have as a ministry of power to enforce it. Um, again, it says the vote to the Department for Taoiseach to ask uh, could it be opened up. So yeah, I leave the link in the description. But yeah, so Helen McAtee, again, the Minister for Justice, looks very, very bad when you're Minister for Justice because you're supposed to be taking away people who are corrupt um, and who are people who are not representing the public officers the standards it should be. And obviously she's in trouble with SIP too because you have to tell any money you receive as a political party or any po as a politician, you have to write it down. You have to say, I got 4,000 from this person as a political donation um, just because they wanted to fund me, right? Or this private individual said they wanted to give me 4,000 just because, you know, I, I was friends with them for years and years and years and I was one for TD and they give me that. You know, you have to put it down for SIP too. Um, because if I didn't do, if I went for TD in the morning, I didn't put it down, I'd be crucified. But again, SIP2 is very slow when it comes to a minister. Um, but yeah, they are probably pretty slow, SIP2 anyway. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think.